Did you know that next year it's estimated that 22% of the workforce will be working remote? And by 2030, some say that up to 30% of the workforce might be working remote. Now, if you're anything like I was a few years ago, stuck in a soul crushing nine to five, daydreaming about working from literally anywhere, but the box that I was stuck in, then this video is your golden ticket. Because trust me, I've been there. I went from filling prescriptions as a pharmacist to filling my bank account as a remote worker. And let me tell you the view from my office is much better now. So today we're gonna to be diving into nine remote jobs that are hotter than my laptop after a 12 hour YouTube bench. We're talking high demand, great pay, and the freedom to work away from that sad cubicle corner. What's not to love? But before we jump in, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and do a virtual high five to the like button. All right, let's get this remote job party started. First up, we have the rock stars of the digital world, which is software developers and engineers. And these coding wizards are the ones who make the magic happen behind your favorite apps and websites. They're kind of like the Gandalfs of the internet. But instead of you shall not pass, they're more like you shall not crash. It's working! It's working! Software developers are high in demand, particularly for roles in cloud computing and AI machine learning slash engineering. And we're talking about big bucks here, folks. On average, remote software developers are pulling anywhere from $105,000 to $166,000 a year, which is not too shabby for a job you can do in your superhero skin tights, right? Now, when it comes to the skills that you need, you're going to need proficiency in multiple programming languages and frameworks, the ability to dissect complex issues and create efficient solutions, expertise in Git for managing code changes and team projects, openness to rapidly evolving technologies and methodologies, skill in explaining complex concepts to diverse audiences, and no, knowing how to code your microwave unfortunately does not count. Now, why is it in demand? Well, in case you haven't noticed, we're living in a digital world, and it's only getting more digital. According to analysis by remote.com of over 6 million Glassdoor job postings, software engineers had the second largest share of remote openings at 36%, just behind web developers. Now, recently, that demand has gone down a bit, but it's still much, much better than your average job out there. So from apps that that remind you to drink water to websites that let you order tacos at 3 a.m. Software is everywhere. Next, we're diving into a role where making sense of cyberspace numbers is the name of the game, and that's going to be a data analyst. Data analysts dig into heaps of data to uncover patterns, trends, and insights that help businesses make smarter decisions. And they're kind of like human calculators, but way cooler and with better social skills, but not by much. And guess what? These number crunching wizards are in high demand with business intelligence analysts being especially sought after. Now, data nerds, and I say that with love, can expect to rake in anywhere from 87 to $137,000 a year. That's a lot of digits to analyze. And when it comes to your skills needed, here's what you'll need to know to be successful in this role. You'll need to be proficient in statistical methods to interpret data and derive insights. You'll need knowledge of programming languages like Python, R, or SQL for data manipulation and analysis. You'll need the ability to present data insights visually using tools like Tableau or Power BI, and you'll have to have the skills to clean and prepare raw data for analysis, ensuring its accuracy and relevance. Plus, you need to have the communication ability to convey complex data insights to both technical and non-technical audiences. Now, the reason why this one's in demand is because, well, the US Bureau of Labor Statistics projects that it's gonna grow 25% from 2020 to 2030, making it one of the most sought after remote jobs in today's data-driven landscape. And with more companies drowning in information every day, obviously they will need someone to tell them what it all means. Now, quick perk alert, work from anywhere and enjoy a coconut latte on the beach because who says you can't crunch numbers with your toes in the sand. Now, let's get into the pros and cons of being a data analyst. The pros here, it's intellectually stimulating and you're going to be doing problem solving daily. There's also competitive salaries and benefits are in high demand. You've got flexible work arrangements, often remote friendly. You've also got continuous learning and skill development opportunities and potential to create impactful world changing products. The cons are it is a sedentary work lifestyle. There can be high pressure deadlines and occasional long hours. It is a rapidly evolving technology requiring constant upskilling, but overall it is extremely solid. The next one on our list is going to be a digital marketer. And these are the creative minds behind those ads that somehow know you need new shoes before you even do. Here's Johnny. <laughs> Creepy, maybe. Effective, Definitely. Basically, digital marketers promote brands and products online, and they use various digital channels to reach and engage target audiences. They also drive website traffic and they generate leads or sales. And listen to this, as businesses allocate more resources to online channels, the digital marketing field is expected to grow by 10% from 2021 to 2031, with social media managers and SEO specialists in high demand. Now, how much do they earn? Well, digital marketers can expect to earn between 56 and $104,000 a year, which is not bad for spending your day on social media. 
right? So when it comes to the skills, here's what you'll need. Sharp analytical skills to crunch those numbers and spot trends because you'll be swimming in data. Creative content creation chops from snappy tweets to eye-catching visuals. You're the idea machine, so you got to make it happen. A solid grasp of SEO techniques, especially if you're working in SEO. And you need to be adaptable and social media savvy. Plus, you have to have relatively good project management abilities because you're likely going to be juggling multiple campaigns. Now, the reason why it's in demand is because digital marketing has been on a crazy ride recently. Get this, we just hit a mind-blowing $600 billion in global ad spend this year. And hold on to your hats because by 2027, we're looking at a whopping $730 billion. That's some serious digital dough. And in a world where everyone's eyes are glued to the screens, companies need people who know how to grab that attention. Think of it as being a dealer only legal. Now I've interviewed a ton of people who have gotten into digital marketing. I've also helped people get into digital marketing. And in my opinion, the best way to get started with this is to take my friend Seth's free digital marketing masterclass, which you can check out in the description and the pinned comment below because he has helped thousands and thousands of people become digital marketers and there's no one in the world better than him. And he tells you how he does it for free. And again, in the description in the pinned comment below. So definitely don't miss out on that. Next is a project manager. And these are the people who keep the chaos at bay and make sure things get done. Project managers lead initiatives from start to finish from coordinating teams, resources and timelines to turn plans into reality. And do you know that Project Management Institute forecasts 2.3 million new jobs in project management through 2030? So with a rising need for agile project managers in tech industries, there's a lot of opportunity here. And when it comes to the salary, project managers can bring home anywhere from 103 to $183,000 a year. That's a lot of money for telling people what to do. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I mean, organizing and facilitating projects. Now, here's the skills that you're going to need in your toolkit. You're going to have to have juggling skills that make a circus pro jealous, a knack for herding cats, I mean, team members, nerves of steel when things go sideways, the ability to speak software fluently, and a sixth sense for keeping everyone happy and productive. Now, the reason why it's in demand is according to project management, we basically need millions of new project managers per year. And it's kind of like staffing a small country with nothing but organizers and planners. With businesses spending more plates than ever, they're desperate for project managers to keep everything from crashing down. So yeah, this one's very solid. Next is going to be customer service representative. And these are the brave souls who handle everything from my package hasn't arrived to I don't know how to turn on my computer. And they're basically like digital therapists, but come loaded with scripted responses. And these digital therapists, aka customer service representatives have a particular demand for multilingual support specialists. So if you're multilingual, there's going to be a lot of demand for your skill set. And customer service reps typically make between $37,000 and $51,000 a year. So it might not be tech money, but hey, it's honest work and it's incredibly easy to get into. Now, when it comes to the skills you need, you're going to need nerves of steel to handle frustrated customers without losing your cool. You're going to have to have ninja level multitasking where you juggle chats, calls, and tickets while keeping a smile in your voice. You also have to have Sherlock worthy problem solving skills, digging for clues and piecing together solutions like a pro detective. You're going to have to have chameleon like adaptability and you have to have Jedi mind trick empathy. Now, the reason why it's in demand is because as more businesses move online, they need people to handle customer service queries. And according to Statista, approximately 27% of customer support workers worked remotely in 2018. And that figure is likely much higher now. So this is no surprise given the numerous benefits of remote work, including increasing productivity and job satisfaction, that there are going to be a lot more of these jobs available. Next is going to be our digital bodyguards, the cybersecurity analysts. And these are the people who make sure the the only virus you have to worry about is the one that gives you a running nose. They're like the bouncers of the internet, but with less visible muscles and more visible eye bags. And here's a fact, incident response analysts and cloud security specialists are specific job titles that are recently sought after. So there's a lot of jobs within cybersecurity, but cybersecurity analysts specifically can earn between 103 dollars to $178,000 a year, which is not bad for playing defense against digital bad guys. And when it comes to your skills needed, you're going to need sharp problem solving skills, because you need to kind of think like a hacker in order to be able to outsmart one. It's also good to have rock solid networking knowledge. Trust is a huge thing in the cybersecurity industry and your reputation is basically everything. You also need to understand how data moves because that's kind of key to protecting it. And you need to have an adaptable learning mindset because cyber threats evolve daily. So you got to be able to keep up. Then you also need an eagle eyed attention to detail because spotting that one anomaly could save the whole system. And of course, stellar communication chops because explaining
understanding complex threats to non-techies is a must-have skill. Now, the reason why it's in demand is because we're entering an era where there are 3.5 million cybersecurity jobs just waiting to be filled. Seriously, there's literally millions of jobs that they just simply cannot fill. And the skill gap isn't just a headache for companies. It's also a golden ticket for anyone looking to dive into a field that's practically begging for new talent. Next up, we have the smooth talkers of the business world, the sales representatives. These are people who could sell ice to an Eskimo or in today's world, sell a new app to someone who still uses a flip phone. And specifically, there's increasing demand for technical sales representatives in the software and SaaS industries. And when it comes to salaries, well, sales reps can earn anywhere from 110 to $203,000 a year, depending on their skills and commission. You basically eat what you kill. And the sky's the limit if you're good at convincing people they need things they didn't know that they wanted. Now, some skills needed here are killer communication skills, an eagle eye for details, rock solid product knowledge, bounce back resilience, and ninja level time management. So why is this in demand? Why is this on this list? Well, the pandemic didn't just change how we shop and socialize. It also revolutionized the job market too. And by the end of 2022, a whopping 26% of US workers were doing their thing from home with tons of companies now offering remote sales gigs. Not bad for a job that used to be all about face-to-face -face charm, right? Next, we have the artists of the digital world, the UX UI designers. And these are the people who make sure that websites and apps don't make you want to throw your phone across the room. They're kind of like the interior interior designers of the internet, making sure everything stays functional and pretty. And the demand for UX designers is still pretty steady, growing at about 6% from 2021 to 2031. Now, that demand is lower than a lot of other tech-related jobs. It is harder to become a UX UI designer than many of the other ones on this list. So keep that in mind because a lot of people do want to do art for a living. But if you are able to become one, you're probably going to make ninety dollars to $163,000 a year. So that's not too shabby for making things look pretty and work smoothly. Now, the reason reason why this one's in demand is because as more businesses move online, they need people who can create interfaces that don't make users want to rage quit. It's kind of like being a digital peacekeeper between businesses and their customers. And the skills you need here are a really good eye for detail, artistic talent, and a critical eye for products. Next is a content writer and editor. And these keyboard warriors craft the words that make the web go round. They're the ones behind everything you read online, from blog posts to product descriptions. And here's a fact, as digital content needs to expand, the US Bureau of Labor statistics projects a 4% growth for writers and editors from 2021 to 2031, with technical writers and SEO content specialists in especially high demand. And when it comes to your salary, you're probably going to be making around fifty dollars to $92,000 a year. And that's pretty good for essentially being a professional Googler and grammar police. Now, here's the skills that you're going to need. First up, you've got to have razor sharp research skills to dig deep and fast, becoming an instant expert on any topic. Next, channel your inner chameleon and adapt your writing style effortlessly to different audiences. And then, and also don't forget those eagle-eyed editing chops to spot and fix errors like a pro proofreader. Oh, and it's probably a good idea to be SEO savvy as well. And trust me, if you nail these skills, you'll be the content writing superhero every client dreams of. Speaking of creating content, I did put together an entire completely free YouTube masterclass that teaches all of my secrets of how I grew this YouTube channel. And you can check that out by clicking down the description and the pinned comment below. And yeah, it goes over everything from finding your niche to mastering monetization strategies. Yeah, this guide covers it all. So definitely check it out. Now, by the way, if you want to find a work from home job company that's always hiring for these types of positions, I actually made a video about that. People absolutely loved it. And you can check it out by clicking right here.